Hello, racing fans. This is the Turfway Park Report for day 27 of the Winter Spring Meeting, Friday, February 26, 2021. Eight races on the card. The Tapitas listed as fast. There are a couple of featured stake events tonight. The 39th edition of the Bataglia Memorial goes as race five, and the Cincinnati Trophy will be carded as race seven. Race number one to start things off in the pick five is a Philly Mare 8 claimer to go six furlongs. The favorite on the morning line at five to two is Andrew McKenzie's number two, Sacred Storm. And they are off to a level beginning. Sacred Storm hard hustled out to the front and flashing speed today. Drama run quickly between horses. The two Nancys is up and after the pace. It's all about me, me, me. Down on the inside from fourth to gray moment to cat off the gate in fifth. Kiana's Love outside racing in sixth and a link for the back to Flat Meadow. And Archie's Girl, who's undefeated here at Turfway, is last of the octet. Just about seven links top to bottom up. The backside they go with three and a half furlongs to go as they enter the far turn. It's Sacred Storm uh, still hounded by the two Nancys out in second. From the outside, Drama Run is third. From between horses, Flat Meadow is gaining ground into fourth. And a three-wide bid from Kiana's at Love. Down along the inside, it's all about me, 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 who's shaded by Momenta Cat. Still nothing yet from Archie's Girl out at the back of the pack. The quarter, 22-1, and one, half mile, 45-3. and three, And it is up top, Sacred Storm, the one to reel in. Sacred Storm and the veteran Perry Utes going to work on this one by the furlong grounds. They built up a three-length lead. It's all about me, 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 to the inside of Flat Meadow, late on the scene from last Archie's girl they're inside the final 16th and Sacred Storm is in front by two it's all about me 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 a valiant effort to get up in the play spot there but Sacred Storm gets it done in 111 flat and it was number two Sacred Storm took the lead shortly after the start and was all over she was well rationed up top by the veteran Perry Utes picks up the eighth lifetime victory here for Andrew McKenzie and Larry Smith Sacred Storm 623, 80, and 260. But into second was the one, third number five, and fourth was the six, Archie's Girl. Exact to $63, trifecta 154.80. The super for a buck, 1,045.80. Dime super, $104.58. Again, that was the ninth lifetime victory for Sacred Storm and her third here at Turf Way. Tonight's second race, a maiden three-year-old 30 clamor to race a mile. Field of 11, no program changes. The favorite on the morning line, number four, Parrothead. For the Jimmy Buffett fans, will be written by Alex Ashard. They are at the post, and they are off. Tardy beginning for Bioka. Quick start for Parrothead up the inside. Extra sexy Big Daddy. And extra sexy Big Daddy will strut his stuff into the first turn. Uh, Ascending Moon will track to the outside while in the clear from second. Up on the three wide side. Parrothead stalks that duo from third. Boon Spirit to the inside is fourth. There goes Bocelli uh, making headway in between horses as Jack B. Nimble covers that one up to the outside. Master of War and Duveen, they race as a team as they turn up the backside. They are in the seventh and eighth positions. Then comes a kiss off the bluegrass and that bump as they head up the backside. The quarter was 24 seconds flat. Still a pace battle up top. Extra sexy Big Daddy leads Ascending Moon. These two uh, show the way approaching the half mile pole by two. Paired head well in hand while racing in the clear from third. Uh, Boone Spirit ad advancing to the inside in hand from fourth as they pass the half mile 47 and two. Extra sexy Big Daddy still shows the way. Ascending Moon is second. Three wide bid. Paired head. He's doing it nicely. Well in hand there. Boon Spirit now being churned upon for some more speed. Jack B. Nimble is cut loose into the outside. Duveen is underway. And from the backfield, Master of War has found his feet. He's closing in within six links off the lead as he raced to the top on a home stretch. Extra sexy Big Daddy tackled by Paired head. And these two slug it out as a turn on down for the bunny. Up on the outside, Paired head. But extra sexy Big Daddy is extra. Extra tough and extra sexy Big Daddy is standing tall in floor y'all. By the 16th pole, he shugged off Parrot Head. They're in the final 50 yards. Extra sexy Big Daddy will get it done. Breaks the made by about two and a half in the end. Parrot Head was second. It got tight for third. A photo including Bump, a late running master of war. Duveen was in that picture as well. And the running time, 138 and one. Number one, extra sexy Big Daddy goes coast to coast here. The top of the lane, the favorite Parrot Head uh, came to him, but he uh, turned him back in one in style on synthetic debut for the Curran Equine Group, Incorporated. Trained by Mike Trombetta, Gerardo Corrales with a well rationed ride. Extra sexy Big Daddy, 628, 2660. Finishing second, number four, Parrot Head. Third, number seven, Bump. 
and fourth goes five master of war exacta 5160 trifecta 399 30 the double 8320 dime super 180 dollars 36 cents running time was 138 and one Tonight's third race, a non to $30,000 claim at a race a mile field of 11. No changes. The favorite on the morning line will be carrying the silks of the two dime stables. That's number six, Frontman and Rafael Bejarano. And they are racing. Good start for Fast Bob from between horses. Erico Lake is flashing speed, and these two hook up and match strides on the run the first turn. They drifted well out off the rail, and that allows Fulco to come on through to take the lead, and Fulco quickly opens up under long rain there by just about two lengths. Erico Lake to the outside of Fast Bob there, second and third. E2 Babu is fourth. Frontman is fifth, right to his outside. Three wide. Jimmy Jazz is sixth and about seven off the pace. Can't bet them all. Races along mid-flight as they head up the backside, a length and a half in front of El Ahijado. Then comes Hard Sting, who's uh, shaded by tallest of the tall, and still seven or eight lengths back to enough. Who will have to make up 15 lengths and pass them all inside the final half mile, the first quarter, 23 and 4. The half mile up on the board in 47 and 1, and it's Fulco. Shows the way two and a half lengths. Erico Lake to the outside of Fast Bob, second and third. There goes Frontman, cut loose to the inside now. E2 Babu has been shuffled back as Can't Bet em All is on the move in hand beneath Chris Landeros. Then comes Jimmy Jazz under a ride, closing in from the backfield. Both tallest of the tall, El Ahijado rounding the turn. And Fulco, upset minded at 23 to 1, comes to the top of the lane with a two length lead. Uh, three quarter time, 112. And one, and here's Frontman, the first to face us. Frontman to the outside of Fulco, who's under a drive. Can't bet them all is all over the course, but closing in stoutly down the outside. Tallest of the tall. Here comes Tallest of the tall, and a big number up to the outside, sweeping up to be in a three way photo here. But it looks like Tallest of the tall is going to get up an edge clear late. That will take a photo. Can't bet them all was from between horses. Frontman was to the inside, and the running time 138 and three. And number nine, tallest of the tall, rallies from off the pace to get up to win going away by almost a length in the end. Tallest of the tall, now a two-time winner owned by Stephen Chesney in partnership with Corey Hoffman. Chip Brownfield, the winning trainer, Rafael Hernandez. Up top, upset winner here, 36-20, 14-67-20. Finishing second was number four, can't bet them all. Third number six, front man, and fourth was the three, fast pop. Exacta 213.40, trifecta $440.80, the double $455.60, dime super $241.34, pick three for 50 cents, $868.30, running time 138 and three. Tonight's fourth race, an allowance event to go a mile. It's an allowance event for those who have not won two races in lifetime. There are eight betting interests, nine in total to go to post, and the favorite from the morning line at five to two, is the entry from the Matthewson Racing number one Mo Reserve and the one a La La Land. And they're off. Quick start for No Reserve, who barrels on out. Working title is flashing speed, as is uphand Robinson, fame to famous. They fan out six across the course on the run of the first turn. Meanwhile, Scales of Justice is advancing after those going wide up the inside, a length in front of Hell or High Water, and Forever Poe will have to pass them all from the back of the pack. They round the turn, approach the back stretch with just about five and a half furlongs to go, and Mo Reserve shows the way. Here's working title keyed up to the outside, into the bit, and now comes to match strides with the pace setter behind a quarter twenty. 24 and 2. Upham travels along in the third position. Out to the extreme outside. Fame to Famous is fourth, about five and a half off the pace, while Scales of Justice has a foothold at defense in the fifth position. La La Land takes in proceedings from six. Heller High Water is on the move against the fence, and then up to the outside. Robinson, still six or seven links back to Forever Poe, who's last of them all. Half mile 47 and three. Into the far turn, just outside three furlongs from home. It's Mo Reserve, still shows away three parts of a length. Working title, the Son of Honor Coat, still tracking in the clear from second. Scales of Justice with a couple shoulder tapper just now. Heller High Water is cut loose to the outside, and here he comes, moving in tandem with La La Land. And from the back, Field. Forever Poe is up a couple of spots. He's closing in three quarters, 112, and a race to the head of the stretch. And Mo Reserve will turn first, but his head's high up in the air. And here comes Heller Highwater. And stable mate La La Land of Mo Reserve is coming down the stand side. And Forever Poe was last, but he's now third and has a big shot to win here outside the 16th pole. Here's Forever Poe. Forever Poe up and after the lead. Forever Poe is a nod to Nevermore. 
Forever Poe beats Heller High Water right on the square. There was a margin of about six lengths back to a photo for third between Scales of Justice and La La Land. The running time, 137 and four. Number four, Forever Poe was last early, but first at the wire. Well-timed ride by nine-time Turfway champion Albin Jimenez up top. Forever Poe picks up the seven life, second lifetime victory for OXO Equine of Lawrence Best. Paulo Lobo, the winning trainer, and Forever Poe gets it done here, covering the mile in 137 and four, and returns $19.60, $9.10, 20 to show. Exact at 108.60, try 264.50, the daily double $703.40. A Super Facta for a dollar will get you back $638.80, while a Pick 3 for 50 cents returns $1,854.05. Tonight's fifth race, the 39th edition of the John Battaglia Memorial. $100,000 guaranteed stake event to go a mile and 16th. Scratch numbers 5 and 12. Jockey change on the 9 to Deshaun Parker in the morning line favorite off the layoff. Number one, Gretzky the Great, a multiple stake winner from the barn of Marquesi. The horses are stepping trackside for race number five from Turfway Park. It's the 39th running of the John Battaglia Memorial. $100,000 guaranteed stake event for the three year olds who get to travel a mile and 16th. Let's meet the field. Number one, the grade one winner, Gretzky the Great. By the Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners of Aaron Wellman in partnership with Gary Barber, trained by Marquesi, Gerardo Morales, the rider. Number two is the predicament owned in partnership by Ramspring Farm, Blazing Meadows Farm, trained by Tim Ham with Rafael Hernandez. The three is the highly touted Twirling Mamba, owned by Sandra Sexton in the Ortiz Racing Stables LLC, trained by Johnny Ortiz with Alvin Jimenez. Number four will carry the silks of the M Racing Group. That's Like the King, trained by Wesley Ward, Rafael Bejarano in the saddle. Scratch number five, Kinetic Sky. The six is Picodoro, owned by the Sanded Syndicate LLC, trained by Billy Mori with John McKee. Number seven, Hard Ride Guy, owned by the Bourbon Lane Stables, trained by Ian Wilkes, Chris Landeros in the tack. The eight, Hush of a Storm, another trained by Billy Mori. This one owned in by Joseph Mori, Jr. Revocable Trust, written by Santiago Gonzalez. Number nine is Helen Alexander's Fort Moultrie, trained by Reeve McGahee, jockey switch to Deshaun Parker. Number 10, notable exception, owned by the Calumet Farm of Brad Kelly, trained by Jack Sisterson, Declan Cannon, is where the black and the gold. Number 11, Catman, owned by the Paradise Farms Corp. David Staudacre, John Piowitz, Angelo Carlissimo, and Mike Maker, trained by Mike Maker with Manny Esquivel. Take out the 12, Warrior in Chief. The 13, Bakwina, carries the pink and black silks of the Silverton Hill LLC. Trained by Darren Miller, and the gray son of Gradar will be ridden by Rodney Prescott. That's the field for the 39th edition of the Bataglia. And they're off in the 39th running of the John Battaglia Memorial. For the lead from between horses, Pico Doro, but Gretzky the Great, the grade one winner will take it to him early, and uh, Gretzky the Great leads the charge into the first turn. The predicament away in the second position, up to the outside as they hit in that turn, now advancing, there goes Pico Doro. Meanwhile, the predicament is back into third. Like the King, settle his own in fourth, a length in front of Twirling Mamba, who is fifth, up to the outside, for Moultrie, away in the sixth position. Bakwina is three deep on the course as they go to turn up the backside. Then comes Hush of a Storm, who's shaded by notable exception behind a quarter quick 23 and four and hard ride guy is at the back of the pack up the backside they go and it's Gresky the great who shows the way Pico Doro keyed up to the outside now these two are on even terms as they approach the half mile pole the predicament races in the third position like the king stalks from the outside fourth twirling mamba perfectly placed behind that tempo from fifth then a link for the back to Fulton mortry bakwina up the inside hush of a storm starts to gain ground and catch the eye half mile 47 seconds flat it's still gretzky the great and pico doro these two continue to spar for the lead like the king is being turned on for some more speed whip comes out on the predicament here comes hush of a storm who's gaining ground as they race around the turn to the top of the home stretch 
and Gretzky the Great will turn him in. Gretzky the Great off the turn by a length. Up to the outside, here's Like the King. Three wide. Hush of a storm is coming at him and coming on. Many chances as they're in the final furlong in the Bataglia. Three across the course. Hush of a storm in the middle. Like the King. Gretzky the Great being put to a test. Meanwhile, hard right guy tried to sneak through, but that hole got tightened. Hush of a storm sweeping up and hush at the storm. Hush of a storm was best in the Bataglia. He stops the timer in 144 flat. And it was number eight, Hush of a Storm, who rolls from off the pace and wins here to remain razor sharp. His third straight victory is undefeated here at Turf Play. Picks up 10, road to the Derby points here with his victory in the Bataglia. The winner owned by Joe Mori, Revocable Trust, trained by Billy Mori, Santiago Gonzalez, up top for that winning ride. Now the winner returns $15.46 and $4. Second number four, Like the King. Third number one, Gretzky the Great. And fourth was the seven hard ride guy. There was an objection and an inquiry into the running of the fifth, but no action was taken. Exact to $85, the try $120.50. The daily double, $254 even. Super for a dime, $77.72. Pick three, $2,679 and change. Pick four, $20,698 change in the pick five twenty three thousand four hundred and thirty four dollars running time for the Metaglia 144 flat tonight's sixth race maiden special weight for the sophomore Phillies to go a distance of ground of a mile and 16 jockey change on the morning line favorite number four Hulda to Rafael Bejarano and they are racing the gray spritz jumped well. Polka Polenta flashing speed to the outside on the extreme outside, nurturing and from between horses, Holden and Sundials away in good order. So well bunched on to the run the first turn. To the inside, Spritz shows the way. Up on the outside, Polka Polenta is second. Extreme outside, Alice Jewel away in the third position. Pioneers Candy racing fourth just to the inside of nurturing. The link for the back, hold is down along the inside, right to her outside. Treasure Lane, how lucky, is three wide in mid-pack up the backside. Misty Vale is a link for the back and two links in front of Sundial. And then about a link and a half back to Tully's Hope and still seven or eight or even nine links back to Plenty Awesome, who's way out of it. Must be about 18 links out of it now. The quarter, 24 seconds flat. Four and one half for longs to travel. And Spritz, the daughter of Awesome again. Shows the way by just about a neck as Polka Polenta applies the heat to the outside. Pioneer's Candy is out in the clear, stalking from third. Uh, nurturing is to her outside and fourth. Against the inside, hold a treasure lane. Is a waiting room from between horses. She's full of run here. Two links for the back to Misty Vale. Sundial is on the move from the back of the pack. And still three or four links back to Plenty Awesome. She's finally underway, but she has to pick up about 15 links in the next quarter mile. Three quarters, one twelve and two. Uh, there goes Polka Polenta up to the outside of Spritz, who's coming under a ride three links for the back to nurturing up the inside as they race to the top at home stretch pioneers candy three quarters 12 and two and spritz is back for more and spritz would not go away she battles back to retake late on the scene sundial is coming at him and coming on it's spritz shaking up and driving here comes sundial trying to get to her here spritz shaking up and holding sundial could never get by her and spritz was tough as a racehorse could be spritz wins all the way up top she was challenged virtually every step of the way it would not give up gets the job done here in 146 and one number spritz tenacious in victory here would not give up she was challenged almost every step of the way and the three-year-old daughter of awesome again breaks maiden here for the sf racing trained by rudy Brissett with chris land daros as the winning jockey 22 60 10 20 and 480 Second number one, Sundial. Third number nine, Polka Polenta. And finishing fourth, number three, Treasure Lane. Exact to 132.80. The try, 419.80. Daily double, 229.40. The Superfecta of 619 and three. $395 for a dime. And the pick three, $530 even. Running time for the winner, 146 and one. Tonight's seventh race, the 39th edition of the Cincinnati Trophy. $65,000 guaranteed stakes event to go six and a half furlongs. Scratch numbers three, four, five, and eight. Number two, just read it, is three to one on the morning line for Ray Handel. The horses are stepping trackside for race number seven from Turfway Park. This is the 39th running of the Cincinnati Trophy stakes. Philly 3 old stake event to go six and one half furlongs. Turfway Park is proud to introduce the field here for the Cincinnati Trophy. Number one, speeding. She's owned by the DJ Stable LLC in partnership with ERJ Racing LLC, trained by Mark Cassie Santiago Gonzalez. He is the jockey. 
Number two, Just Read It, owned by Ken Russell, Brown Road Racing, and Ray Handel. Ray Handel, the trainer, and Manny Esquivel up top. Scratch numbers three, four, five. The six is Igloo, carrying the silks of the Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners. Jonathan Thomas, the conditioner, and Alvin Jimenez will be the pilot. Number seven, Phantom Vision, owned by Albert Frasetto, trained by Mike Baker with Rafael Bejarano. Scratch number eight, Rocket Reload, the nine pledge, owned by the DJ Stable LLC, trained by Marcassi Rafael Hernandez. Number 10, completing the trio of horses here for Marcassi is Dirty Dangle, owned by the Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners, in partnership with Gary Barber. Chris Landeros will call the shots. Number 11 is Wait for Nairobi, owned by the Hartwell Farm, in partnership with SF Racing, trained by Ray Hernandez, Edgar Morales, in the Irons. Number 12 is Lashida, owned by the CG Racing LLC. Cerulio Gorostieta, the winning, or excuse me, the trainer, and Augustin Gomez is the jockey. Off the also, number 13, Devil's Advocate draws in as she is owned by Catherine and Jim Nelson. She's trained by Doug Danner, and she'll be handled by Rogelio Miranda. That's the field for the Cincinnati Trophy. They'll go six and a half furlongs here. Exact to try, dime super, late daily double wagering. They are racing in the Cincinnati Trophy Stakes. Quick beginning from between horses for Igloo. Also quick into stride up on the outside. Wait for Nairobi and Lashita. So out of the shoot and they straighten up the main course and they're well bunched in the trophy early. It's Igloo who shows the way. Phantom Vision to the outside. Three wide. Dirty Dangle skates up in third. Uh, down on the inside. Speeding away in the fourth position from between horses. There goes Just Read It with a backstretch brush right to her outside. Was wait for Nairobi. On the extreme outside, Devil's Advocate. So a couple lengths for the back to the two trailers. Pledge and Lashita 20. 22 seconds flat to time for the opening quarter. And it's Igloo, who shows away by a length and a half. Phantom Vision racing in the second position. Just read it in third. Up on the outside with a big move on the far turn. There goes Wait for Nairobi. And from the backfield running on is Pledge and Speeding. Half mile a fast 44 and 3. And a race to the head of lane almost three across the course in a Cincinnati trophy. Igloo closest to the rail. In the middle, Phantom Vision. Three wide, Wait for Nairobi. Then a link for the back to Pledge and up the inside comes Just Read It. Many chances in the final Florence for long. Here's long shot. Wait for Nairobi up to the outside of Phantom Vision, who's still boxing on as they race in deep stretch. Here's wait for Nairobi. Wait for Nairobi and Edgar Morales to take the 39th running of the Cincinnati Trophy and stop the timer in 117 and three. Wait for Nairobi for Ray Hernandez Barn, home a winner here. Number 11, wait for Nairobi, rolls from off the pace to win impressively here to take the Cincinnati Trophy for the Hartwell Farm and SF Racing, also bred by the owners. The winning trainer, Ray Hernandez and Edgar Morales, the winning jockey, 32, 20, 14, 47, 60 for wait for Nairobi, who's now on a two race win streak. Second, number seven, Phantom Vision, third, number six, Igloo, fourth, number one, Speeding. The exact $190.20, trifecta $441.50. The double, wow, $901 even. The dime super, $192.74. The pick three, $581.30. Tonight's eighth race is a Philly and Mare conditional claimer to go six and a half furlongs. Take out the one jockey change on the 11 to Ramos. The favorite on the morning line, number nine, Capuri for Mike Evans. They are off. Good beginning for Miss Pinkerton. Also quick into stride. There goes Satiate. And from between horses is Jimma's Gold. Out of the shoot and on, on the main track, Satiate. She's made the point. Quickly opens up a length and a half on Miss Pinkerton, who's back into second. Jim is gold and chase six. They race uh, third and fourth at about six lengths off the lead already. Then a couple lengths further back to uh, Promise Fame after a quarter 22 and two. Satiate shows away by two. Miss Pinkerton in chase mode from second. There's a margin of four back to Jimmy's Gold, who is in fourth. Check six is fifth. Promise Fame is on the move just in front of Lily Secret. Then down along the inside as they make their entrance into the turn. There goes Sweepin' O. Chasing Satiate. 
Shows away by a length. Miss Pinkerton is still racing in hand from second. Jim is gold the long shot, closing in from third. Still seven or eight lengths back to check six. And a couple more to promise fame as they race to the top at home stretch. Half mile was 45 and one. And the leader, Satiate, the daughter of Kitten's Joy, opening up and driving on a two length lead. Miss Pinkerton still boxing on from second. Way out wide. Jim is gold. Late on the scene up the inside. Miss Hart, 116th left. Satiate still finding. Miss Pinkerton still trying. Satiate is headed into the winner's circle. Satiate another winner for Corrales and Ravelli at the meet. They win by about two and a half in the end. Looked like Jim's gold uh, got up for second in that photo with Miss Pinkerton in 117 and four. Number six, Satiate went to the front, played a little game of catch me if you can, and they could never get to her well prepared off that long layoff by Larry Ravelli. The winner is owned by Carolyn Wilson and ridden by Gerardo Corrales, and that was his second victory on this Friday card. The winner returns $8 to win, $5 in the middle, and $4 to show. Second, number seven, Jim is gold. Third, the 12, Miss Pinkerton. Fourth, number five, check six. Fifth, goes nine, Capri. Exact to 233.20, try $620.40. The Superfecta, $310.21. The double, $164.60. Pick three, $374.75. The pick four was over $4,152. The high five was not hit. That carries over $2,200. And the single six will carry $17,787.79. Running time for Satiate six and a half furlongs, 117 and four. Well, that concludes the racing program for this Friday edition of Racing from Turfway Park. From everyone here at the track, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.